go across, I'll just, I'm just going to get this hooked on properly. I've got a Facebook memory today uh, from seven years ago on my last uh, hike down to a place called Martin's Pond on the Batman Track, uh, which is on the Glenmore Creek in uh, Glenbrook Creek in um, the Blue Mountain. And I'd gone up uh, to visit a friend who took me down there. He's a uh, and named Dan, and he uh, is a bit of a uh, an explorer of the Blue Mountains. Anyway, he took me down there, and um, we had a lovely night, and it was uh, not too hard getting down there. But then the next day, I had to face going back up the uh, hill, which uh, for me, I found half of it you know bearable but uh, towards the end I was absolutely uh, knackered and uh, what? Uh, luckily with Dan's help I uh, and encouragement I made it to the top out but it actually made me decide that that was the last time I uh, put myself through extreme uh, uh, hiking uh, carrying large packs and uh, yeah Slip this is just a video of that journey back up to civilization we all kept a pretty standard pace for a lot of the trip um, wonderful wildlife and uh, scenery to be seen on each side the sides of the track were really steep and uh, it was quite easy to lose your footing and I, I suppose a lot of these rescues that are seen throughout the Blue Mountains are because um, yeah, people on, Dave, slip we can do off it. and need a helicopter. At this point in the journey, I'm starting to flag a bit, you might say. So, it's alright, I'm going to sit on this rock with you. Suck it in, Dave. <laughs> well, this, t this is not one of the hardest. Once we get up this, once we get up this track here, it starts to level out a bit after the falls. And then you slowly climb. This is the hardest part. It's good, the you want the hard part first, easy part last. The track where I have to take a break. And, uh, there were uh, five of us in the group and uh, when I took when I took this uh, this point I had to uh, let the other uh, four go ahead of me. But uh, Dan hung around and uh, he was a great encouragement for the rest of the trip. Keep going, I'll follow you. Yeah. Love the rest of the perch bonds. I'll be behind you, Dave. At least this one, it goes up a bit, then you get a bit of a flat to get your breath back. Yeah. yeah so it's not like Perry's look down was just murder, it was just straight up the whole way. <laughs> you just, all you saw was steps above and beyond steps. Oh, there's Martin's false.
Martin's Falls were amazing. It was uh, a wonderful site. There's some really beautiful uh, things along this track. Uh, it's uh, very steep sides though. I uh, did slip at one stage and I uh, was lucky that I didn't fall off the edge. But beautiful falls, the scenery gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. True to Dan's word, it did become a little bit more bearable after hitting the falls. So the uh, point that uh, we, uh, the hard bit was at the beginning and it got easier towards the end uh, was apt. But uh, I don't know that hard bit, at the end of the day, it was hard. Another beautiful spot along the way, uh, there was many sites just like this, just lush growth and so much water, you know, perfect uh, environment for living things really was, but here's where I fall for the third time, and uh, this is right near the end, we've nearly got there, we've nearly got there. He's getting a bit steamy isn't it? Mate, this is still a hard trail, it's not easy. Now you made it. Back to civilization, Dave. So that's the Batman Trail, the Martins campsite. Never have I been so happy to hear about the top of a ridge. But uh, that was the Batman track, it really challenged me and uh, I doubt I'll be ever going back down there ever again. But on a real experience, so you know, if you've got a bit of fitness to you and you want to actually see a bit of the Australian bush in the Blue Mountains that's uh, a bit off, bit off the beaten track, uh, this is a good place to start. Anyway, thanks yeah. for watching. Come next to this person's house and walk out. That's the Batman Trail.